Hello, my name is Warrior3456, and today I will be opening two Yu-Gi-Oh! Battle of Legend Chapter 1 boxes. So we'll just go ahead and get right on into it here. Apparently it comes with one secret rare, six ultra rares, and 30 common cards inside. Plus uh, one collectible dice, and apparently a chance to get the astral language version of number 39 Utopia, which I don't fully understand because it is not a playable card it is literally just gibberish i guess it would be more of a collector's item than anything and i'll go ahead and see what we get here and it looks like out of the first to pack we got time lord prong Geniger, vorp gate a nice synchro monster set that aside let me see how many packs we get looks like two all right two packs not bad in each box and it looks like we got a purple cyber dragon dice that's nice i like cyber dragon so i'll take that these dice aren't of super high quality they're really just like a chunk of plastic they remind me of ones you would like get at an arcade or something like Chuck E. Cheese or something years ago and I'll go ahead and open our second box go ahead and fish this out there we go and out of this one we get Neos Wise Man nice card that goes with the Elemento Heroes Put that aside too and of course we get two more booster packs and it looks like we got the same exact dice again nice and now I have two not gonna complain about that I guess and we'll go ahead and get started on opening these and I have no clue how many packs are in here, uh, uh, not packs, cards, so we got 18 cards total in each pack. And we'll go ahead and get started here, who knows what we get, hopefully we'll get some older monsters that are, I don't know, cooler, something that I can recognize at least. And we get Salaman Great Almagiraj along with Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, Hibernation Dragon, Flash Charge Dragon, a lot of dragons, Apparition, or Apparition, my bad. And then we have Fossil Warrior, Skull King. Okay, that is badass. Never seen that guy before. A fusion monster. And then we have, uh, let's see, is that a J? Zizikiru, the Star Destroying Kaiju. Nice. And then we have uh, Calanthitosa, Mythical Beast of the Forest. We have a Gareth, Light Sworn Warrior. Number uh, C92, Heart Earth Chaos Dragon. And then we have a uh, Harpy Perfumer, along with Yubel. And then we have Kyoto Waterfront, or Kyutu, instead of Kyoto. And we have Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Very nice. I recognize that at least. We get a Fossil Fusion Elemento Hero Neos Knight. We have Raid Raptor the Fi uh, Final Fortress Falcon. And we have Twilight Ninja Kagen. And some uh, super blurry video because the camera has decided to go on vacation. Alrighty, we'll go ahead and open up another pack here. And we will see what we get out of this one. And I'm not super crazy about the giant packs where you get the 18 cards. I mean, it's definitely a lot of value. I just feel like it'd be easier to open some smaller packs. Anyway, we get glorious numbers to start with out of this one. We have Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. We have Crusader of Indie Neon. We have Stonic, Sonic Stun, Vision Hero, Minimum Ray. We have uh, Phyllis, a Light Sworn Archer. We have Yubel, along with a Galaxy Soldier, number 27, Dreadnought Dreadnoid. 
We have Raid Rapser, Rudder Strix. We have Orgoth, the Relentless. We have Yubel, the Ultimate Nightmare. I guess Yubel in its final form. And we have Into the Void, Dragonic Diagram, Valor Fawn, Mythical Beast of the Forest. So, Deerling from Pokemon. We have Number S39, Utopia of the Lightning. Elemental Hero Prisma, and on the end we have Destiny Hero Dangerous, so very nice. So actually are quite a bit of cards I recognize from back when I was super into Yu-Gi-Oh! and knew more about the card game. Basically anything after Zexel might as well be gibberish in my opinion, so we'll go ahead and move on to our next pack. We have Crusader of Indimon again, Glorious Numbers, Harpy Conductor, Elemental Hero, Escuridao, Deo, Escuridao. Okay, that one's definitely in Spanish. We have Junk Archer, Anchor, man, that's hard to pronounce some of these. Extra Hero Dread Decimator. And then we have a Boral Sword Dragon. We have a White Aura Bahamut. We have a Chronomaly Tusper Rocket. With number 27 Dreadnought Dreadnoid. Orgoth the Relentless again. We have Destiny Hero Malicious. Along with a Valor Fawn, a Mythical Beast of the Forest. Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. We have Kaiju 2 Waterfront. The Kaiju Files. Let's see, Lila, Light Sworn Sorceress. And Born from Draconis for our last card. Alrighty, we got some cool stuff out of that one. I do like a lot of the hero monsters. And honestly, a lot of them are compatible with each other, so you don't really have to have just an Elemental Hero deck or Destiny Hero deck. You can kind of use a little bit of all of them if you feel like it. And next we have Fossil Dragon Skullgar. We have Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, Time Stream, Sonic Stun, Vision Hero, Multiply Guy. We have Apparition. We have uh, Harpy Perfumer, we have Vision Hero, Witch Raider, Vision Fusion, Garoth, Light Sworn Warrior, we have another Boral Sword Dragon, and then we have Minerva, the Exalted Light Sworn, nice, I didn't know the Light Sworns had XYZ support. Then we have Destiny Hero, Duskatopia. We have Vision Release, Assault of Blackwing, Soya the Rainstorm, Psy Frame Lord Lambda. We have High Rate Draw, and on the end we have Number S39, Utopia the Lightning. Alrighty. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really enjoy making these videos, and it really helps. So if people leave a like and a comment, Thank you for watching, and I'm going to go ahead and thumb back through what we got, just, you know, for a summed up version of all the good cards we managed to pull. And of course, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Feel free to join my Discord server, and uh, goodbye.